One of the Constitution's most prominent principles can be found in the First Amendment. The right to the freedom of the press is what allows the Oviedo High newspaper class to flourish. Informing the student populace at Oviedo High has become an active expression of their roles as citizens of their school campus. Larger publications like the Orlando Sentinel serve this vital purpose to a broader local community. Throughout all of this, the First Amendment allows for journalism's role and existence in the public sphere. It says that there shall be no law regulating the free press of the United States of America. We are there to be a, a check on the power that is granted to state and local and federal governments. So it's essential to the way our society works. And that is our number one job, really. I mean, that is why uh, we have these First Amendment protections, that Congress could not make any kind of laws that prohibited our ability to have that check on them. The First Amendment allows the press, and the press can, these days is newspapers, television, blogs, even certain blogs and, and online operations, to make sure that government is held accountable to the people. If we didn't do it, I'm not sure anybody else would have. The press not only serves as a check on government, but permits citizens to better fulfill their duty by keeping the public informed with facts. We search for the truth because you have people telling you different things and I think part of our job is to find out what is the truth and report that to people and I think that's what makes a good citizen because you need to look at different sources and find out what the truth is about important issues and that helps you make really important decisions about your community. Democracy is based on the notion of an informed electorate. If you don't have people involved, then you don't, you don't have democracy. It's real easy to get lots of information about who may be running for the U.S. Senate or for governor, but what about your county commissioner or even your city commissioners? Those are the kinds of races that only a newspaper can give you the information you need. In their search for information, reporters at the Orlando Sentinel often utilize records available to the public to uncover what might otherwise go unnoticed. You know, the mission of, of a newspaper or journalist in general is to shine a light in areas where maybe people don't know there's something they, that needs to be illuminated. You know, there's this big story about the UCF's president stepping down. And, uh, you know, the sentiment uh, about, about that story was, uh, number one, he's a very popular, um, you know, president. And so there was a lot of sadness about that. And, but then we got the public records, and that told a different story, and that told a story about you know, um, people who worked for him, who were basically saying, you know, he, he knew a lot more than he said he knew. And it changed the narrative. The UCF president, they had a hearing at UCF to determine whether or not to accept his resignation. And they had a lot of people testify, students and faculty members talk about what a great guy he was and that he's being framed for this sort of thing. Uh, and that was the narrative going into the afternoon. Then that evening we were able to get all these records and we had a number of people in the newsroom going through hundreds of pages of documents finding what these people testified up in Tallahassee and they said that, that the president did know about what was going on with this funding. That role as a source for information puts the press in a position to bring the community together, particularly in times of tragedy. The time that we felt um, we had a huge impact on our community was during the Pulse shooting. We were all, basically the whole newsroom came into the newsroom to start covering it that morning. But we really wanted to make sure that the victims and their stories were kind of front and center. All the people who had been killed and the people who had been injured, we didn't really care that much about the gunman because we said he's not from this community. Our decision to cover it that way, I think it helped the community heal and focus on the right thing. We were the ones that came up with the hashtag Orlando United early on in the coverage. And that was something that was carried through throughout and even today is used a lot in terms of that tragedy. You want to help serve your community and then you, you get the feedback that you really made a difference in people's lives and they appreciated what you did. That was really fulfilling for us. Good reporters get out and talk to people in the community, just regular folks to understand what what, what their needs are and write about those needs. Back in the newspaper classroom at Oviedo High, the students are improving their citizenship through awareness of their campus and community. I think it's important to have the newspaper at school especially to have students be able to have a platform to speak their minds. The press and the media is how we get all of our information and if we don't have that then we're uninformed and we're uneducated making decisions. They are going through the process of being the ones who are telling the story and being the ones who really have to consider who is being represented and making sure that everyone is getting their voice represented in each story that we tell.